understand what they I'm are saying. I'm putting you on the spot. Wow. Yes. Now, we know that you two, you were invited by the police. Yes. What is the case? Is it that you took, say, a cumulative of all of your salary, 100000 for parliament, and then you took <clears throat> just about 10000 or 20000 as top-up, or you took almost equal amounts at each point? Let me tell you. The police sent a letter inviting me. I had to travel, so I went and took the letter, saw the content. They said, we're inviting you to investigate a case of uh, stealing. And I wrote them a letter. And I said, well, first and foremost, I deny any allegation of stealing. Secondly, so far as I'm concerned, there's no stealing matter here. If anything at all, <clears throat> it is an administrative matter between the controller accountant general and the auditor general. So if you say I have stolen, go and take the committee's determination of my emoluments. Cal compute it. Go and show me the payments that were made to me. If there's a difference between what the committee determined as my emoluments and the payment that was made to me, and the payment that was made to me exceeds what the committee determined to me as emoluments. When there's a difference, call me and inform me of that difference. And at that point, we can start talking about stealing. You mean they didn't do that before they called Nothing. You? Nothing has happened so far. They just called and said that, they just wrote a letter that, oh, uh, you, 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 you are being invited for an investigation of the crime of stealing. So I wrote them the letter, and within two hours, I received a call saying, don't come again when we need you. We will call you. So I'm waiting. I called them last week. said, should I still come? They said, no, we say you should wait. When we need you, we'll call you. Why are you calling us? I said, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> because if you call me, I'd like to bring the records from controller, setting out the payments that was made to me. Bring the committee's report. <clears throat> Let's calculate. If what was paid to me as my condition of service at the end of the term is, 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 is uh, less than... I mean, what was determined as my condition of service at the end of the term is less than what was paid to me. Then the difference, you can even start talking about stealing. But even there is no stealing. It's an administrative matter. You miscalculated and paid money into my account. So the first administrative thing you do is to write to me saying that we overpaid you by X amount of money. Please, can you send the money back? We're giving you 10 days. Within 10 days, if you don't send the money back, we'll take legal action to recover the money to the state. Yeah, are, you you suggesting, are you suggesting administrative, as you say, yes. that if excess money has come to you and you became aware of it, it's not expected of you to have been honest enough to do what Martin Amidu said he did, Yes, send the money. I agree. I agree. I agree. Osei 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 yes. has said, yeah. has spoken to the public and said yeah. that he's had a similar situation yeah. where he was being paid from the presidency and from parliament. Mm -hmm. When he got to know, he realized that it was double payment. Mm -hmm. So he, he returned the check. Okay, let me tell you one thing. First and foremost, I agree entirely as a matter of principle that if money is paid into your account yeah. and you know that this money is not my, 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 it's not payment I'm entitled to, you, you should check and then also find out where it is coming from and then return the money to the sender. Right. But it is perfectly possible, and I'm saying this from personal experience, as a member of parliament and a minister of state, perfectly, and he's here as a member of parliament, and we, we will spill the beans. The truth of the matter is that, so, yes, I will say it. Said, I will, will say it. Will spill the beans. I will say it. We receive, we receive different payments into our accounts. Different payments. And very often, I have my, my, my phone here. I can give it to you. Yesterday, I gave it to your colleagues on, uh, what do you call it, Ghana, Ghana Connect, Connect yes. and he read it. Mm. When a payment comes to my, uh, into my account, my bank notifies me, but my bank never tells me the source mm. of the payment. They just say, 10,000 has been paid into your account, 20,000 has been paid into your account, 5,000 has been paid into your account. Now, under our arrangement, it could be a committee allowance. It could be, sometimes even the S-Gratia, he's here, sometimes the S-Gratia, the government itself doesn't have the money to pay the S Gratia in bulk. So sometimes they can <coughs> split the S Gratia and pay you over a period of three months, four months, six months, depend on the availability Are you of funding. you that the money so, that, the money that yes, hits your yes, account, yes. there's no any paper work in addition to that he, before or after it's been paid? He's here. Ask him. 
Parliament, please be honest and let's have this discussion here. When was the last time Parliament was paying you and sent you your pay slip? You don't see your pay slip. You need to go and request for it before they give you your pay slip. As a president, I mean, somebody, as a minister who <coughs> was working at the presidency, never. You, if you needed a pay slip to do something, then you went and requested for it, and it will be given to you. So it's not the ordinary agreement where, on a monthly basis, you get informed that these are the details. And so there, there is so much happening there. But it's easy to detect where yes. we are told that some have actually received double ex gratia, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be money in, you know, 200, 300 plus you know, uh, thousand Ghana CD. So yes. if you are receiving, let me tell you why. If you receive that amount, yeah. and you receive yet another of that same amount or close to that amount, yeah. you cannot say it is a top up, and then you take it and spend it like. Okay, let me give an example. Saying. Let me give an example. You have when at the end of your term of office, December usually December twenty sixteen, the committee's proposals are approved by Parliament and the President. That's when they now sit and compute how much you were entitled to have been paid for the past four years. After computing that, then they deduct all previous payments that have been made to you, whether it's coming from parliament or it's coming from the presidency, then the difference is given to you. Very often, you are not even part of the computation process. You don't know because you have just approved the thing in parliament. It's now for the controller to do the computation. They can compute your... The, your, your, the, your entitlements and then deduct the advances that have been paid to you over the four years and decide that the difference is 300,000. Very often you don't know. Honestly, you don't know. And they can decide that they are breaking it into two because they don't have money and that week there's pressure and they have to give you half and next week they'll give you half. So you can see 200 paid to you today and you may call and ask, so what is this? They say, oh, it's your salary areas, we this thing, but we don't have money, so we're advancing <coughs> some of it. You don't even know whether they're advancing 50%, 60%, 80%, because there's no formal letter. Okay. Listen, as we speak, mm. if you ask me for a formal letter, he's sitting here, mm. if he has a formal letter, letter from Parliament, saying that following the conclusions of the committee and the approvals by the executive, you were entitled to X amount of money. For the four years, we have paid you X amount of money. The difference between what you have been taking and what you, you are supposed to take is X amount of money. And we'll be paying X amount of money to you. Do you have that kind of record? Okay. No. So if yeah. you ask me also uh, at the Dominic, presidency... Dominic can't wait to come in. So yes. you hold oh, it, no, hold no, it no. briefly. Yes. Uh, he's going to wait to come in. I want to have a quick so, 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 He's so, 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 with him. So, okay. so my conclusion... Right. No, right. my conclusion... Mm. My conclusion on this matter is that there may well be... I don't have the evidence... But I'm saying that the matters that the government has decided to use to divert public attention and create the impression of criminality when they could have resolved it administratively. For you didn't need to call me. That was my point to them. You don't need to call me. All you need is to call the control accountant general, call the auditor general, let them do their reconciliation so that when you are even writing to me, you can present it to me and say, this is what we have. Can you respond to, to this? so that it can make the work easier. If you notice, all the ministers who went and came, you, and nobody you, said that that's how they approached it. You are still it. an MP. 